Juan and I want to welcome you back to my channel where I share with you my journey of learning how to oil paint. Please excuse my voice, I have a little bit of a sore throat. Today I have for you a simple little landscape painting. I was out with my family taking family photos and we were out in this wooded area and it was just such beautiful scenery that I couldn't resist but to make a painting out of it. I hope you enjoy the video, let's get into it. Here I start off by staining the white canvas with burnt umber and some paint thinner. Once I do that I move on to putting in a very simple underpainting. It's not very detailed, it's really just big shapes to let me know what goes where in relationship to each other. Now because I finished this underpainting fairly quickly, I moved straight into the block in which I don't normally do. I normally wait for it to dry, and so this ended up causing me a little bit of a problem with the blocking. I don't know if you can really see in the video, but it was really giving me some trouble laying the paint down because the canvas was still wet with the paint thinner. So I ended up having to finish the blocking in two sittings. I had to let it sit overnight and let it dry in order to go over it a second time and be able to put in a little bit of a thicker coat of paint. You can't really tell from the video, but, but with the dark greens in the painting, there's still a lot of that burnt umber stain showing through, and so I need to be able to cover that up a little bit more. And here you can see me the next day putting in a little bit darker greens to sort of finish off that, that very simple block in. It's really all just big shapes, nothing too detailed. Once I had that block and finished, all I really had to do was to go back and start adding all that detail that I see in the photograph. I tried to keep my painting style quite a bit loose on this painting, but I still managed to create that illusion of detail within the painting, and I believe that it turned out pretty well. For these parts, I'm basically just adding more to the foliage and the painting and just trying to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. That's pretty much the entire story from here on out, so I will just leave you to enjoy the rest of the painting.
have it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you liked the painting. As always, if you have any advice or suggestions, please be sure to let me know. That's all I have for now, so I will see you next time. Have a good one.